Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron and today I'm going to be solar dyeing this 100 gram skein of Superwash Merino Nylon Lurex Blend because it's all lovely and sparkly. Now this has been sitting in some water for probably about 5-10 minutes while I just got everything prepared and now I should have added some extra ties because this is a huge mess. Oh gosh. Right. Learn from my mistakes, add extra ties. Don't just assume it's gonna be fine. Oh man, that's as much as I can do. I will probably have to re-skein this when I've finished. Now, I am going to be using some leftover liquid dyes that I've got. I've got Purple Pop, Fluorescent Safety Orange, and Fluorescent Fuchsia which I have left over from April. These were 1% solutions. And all I'm going to do is just squirt a little bit down the bottom. Oops, this leaks a bit. I'm hoping that because I'm doing this in solution that I won't add too much dye and never be able to rinse these out because fluorescent dyes are notorious for rinsing out. So it's a bit of that one. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, I think I'll go with orange next. Add a little bit more of that in. These bottles have leaked and I've got dye all over my hands. I've just grabbed this and added some more dye up there. Ugh. Some fluorescent safety orange. Now because we're in the middle of a heat wave in the UK at the moment, I am going to be using the sun as my heat source today. So I think that's probably enough of the orange. I've not really done this in very well, but I'm going for the fluorescent fuchsia now. Now these are dedicated dye equipment. I've got my gloves on and when I measured these, when I used them for another project, I did use, um, have my mask on. I think I've added quite a lot of that pink, but oh, it is gorgeous. Maybe I didn't add enough of the fluorescent orange. Let's add a bit more. Just getting it everywhere. Right, no more. I'm trying to do le less is more at the moment. <laughs> Not really working. All right, let's add some vinegar because this is an animal fibre. You need heat, vinegar, well, heat and vinegar and the correct dyes. So I can use acid dyes. And so I'm going to use the sun as the heat source. I've got my, my acid, which is the, this vinegar. I've used three tablespoons, which is quite a lot, but these are fluorescent dyes and they do need a bit more. Maybe I didn't use enough purple pop. Oh, second guessing myself. Nope, leave it, just leave it. And instead of filling this up with water, I'm filling it up with ice, because why not? It's, uh, it is hot outside, why not? do something a little bit different. There we go. Just pushing this down as much as I can. Um, I am very tempted to add some more on top. Hmm. No, no, leave it. Just leave it. I can always over dye if needs be. Really trying to do less is more at the moment. Really, really trying because I like to just keep adding and adding and adding and then sometimes I get to a stage where I think, oh, maybe I shouldn't have added all that. So here we go. Here is this little jar set up and I'm going to go stick this in the garden to get nice and hot. Here is the sparkly yarn. It's been sitting in the sun for about 24 hours now. You can see it's nice and steamy. Uh, let's have a look. 
yeah all that dye has absorbed to the yarn fantastic so now we can wash it i'm just going to rinse this through with some cold water it doesn't look like there's any unbound dye uh there won't there shouldn't be any um bits of powder in here because i use liquid dye not powder dye but this looks pretty good i'm glad i didn't add too much of the dyes I didn't, i'm glad that hasn't overpowered everything just adding a little bit of washing up liquid <laughs> there's some black from another project that hadn't, just got stuck yeah there's nothing coming out here which is fantastic what i was hoping for so i'm just going to rinse this through a few times because it does smell quite vinegary and then i can hang this up to dry and here is our finished sparkly sock yarn now i'm so glad that i did show restraint with this i didn't go overboard there was no bleeding when i washed this out uh, which is always a worry when i use fluorescent dyes but this is this has just turned out better than I could have hoped. We've got the lovely pinks from the fluorescent pink. But if we look here, I didn't use yellow. I used orange and it has broken into this gorgeous bright yellow and some orange patches, which is fantastic. Uh, and over here, it's sort of similar with the purple. The, the purple pop has broken and you've got you've got purple, but then there's still lots of pink all around it as well. And uh, I just, I love it. This has worked out better than I could have hoped. If we have a look, there's some quite dark splotches there. And uh, this whole yarn has got a sort of pink tinge to it. And there's these just gray bits, which has come from some color transfer from another project. I'm not quite sure how, but it has, but it doesn't detract from the yarn. I think it sort of works quite, quite well. I, I quite like um, pinks with, uh, pinks and purples with greys as well, uh, all sort of mixed up together. So I I love it, and the sparkle's still there, and it's just a gorgeous skein of yarn, which looks a bit like a, a yarn bath at the moment. <laughs> that looks much better, doesn't it? You can still see all the colours in there, but it's not quite <laughs> such a mess as it was. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Uh, would you like me to do this sort of technique again? I publish dyeing tutorials every Monday and then usually I usually uploaded around about 6 p.m. UK time. Oh, there goes the train. Uh, so make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you don't miss a new video. And in these videos, I do like to experiment with different techniques and dyes and fibre types. And I like to mix things up, so there should always be something different and interesting to watch. Thank you so much for watching.